Hey everyone, this is Norris Tony coming back to y'all with another video. I'm going to be reading from my prayer book, Walk in Faith. I'm going to read a Bible verse and then I'm going to read a prayer. Turn thee unto me and, how, and have mercy upon me, for I am desolate and afflicted. This is from the book of Psalm chapter 25. Verse 16, here's the prayer. The Lord will weep with you during your darkest hour. Open the curtains and let God's light shine through the window to your soul. Give up your burdens to the Lord, and he will carry you in his heart. Our delight in God's love cannot compare with his joy in loving us. God's blessing of joy replaces our sorrow. Okay, I'm going to read an article right quick. It's from AtlantaBlackStar.com. It's called She Want Production to Pay for the Wedding. Evelyn Lozada reportedly set to return to basketball wives after finding love on Queens Court. It looks like a relevant factor will be making her return to basketball wives very soon. Evelyn Lozada reportedly is preparing for her is preparing her comeback to the VH1 series for its upcoming season following her exit back in 2021. Here's a picture of her in question, the lady in question. According to a, to a report from the Jasmine brand, Lozada will return for the show's 11th season. While it is unclear how the 47-year-old worked her way back into the cast, Excuse me. She seems to already have a friend in season 10 castmate, Brooke Bailey. In April, the two women were spotted hanging out together at a football game. According to a report from the Jasmine brand, Lozada will return for the show's 11th season. While it is unclear how the 47-year-old worked her way back into the cast, Hold on. Hold on a second. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm reading. I'm going over the same thing again. I'm sorry. After or uh, after information about Lozada's possible return hit TJBS Instagram page, many sp spectators began constructing their own theories about the mother of two's return, which most a tribute to her needing another source of income. I knew that Evelyn Lozada was going to return to basketball wise. She's friends with Brooke, and I'd be and I'd be love to see that dynamic on the show. Someone convinced Malaysia to come play. The show's ratings are super low. They must be offering her a very large check. When them checks stop, it's time to return to the flop. LOL. Must need a check. My good sis at Evelyn Lozada back on basketball wise. Is this is this real, sis? If so, I need you to not let these weird beaches live live, okay? Respectfully gather the girls, okay? If fans, come on now, sorry, this, okay, hold on. If fans remember correctly, the last time Lozada was on BBW, she constantly clashed with her classmates, or with her castmates, including her former best friend, Jennifer Williams. But viewers last watched the founder of the BX Blow Jury line go head-to-head -head with outspoken athlete OG 
and entrepreneur C.C. Scott. Low blows were thrown during hectic arguments with each of the ladies, and at one point, OG even accused Ava, even accused Lozada of being a colorist while explaining her decision to exit after season nine. The reality star confessed that the onset culture affected her choice. It's not the most popular energy, she said on the E! News talk show Daily Pop. Now I have a conscience about what I say and what I do and what my kids are going to see. Ultimately, Lozada's choice to leave the show involved her two children a daughter, Shanice Hairston, 29, and a nine-year-old son named Carl Lee Crawford, or Lee, Carl Leo Crawford. She shared that she had a difficult time during season seven and eight and wanted to branch out with different ventures. The public was first introduced to the S. Uh, to the SG by Evelyn Lozada, founder, after she joined BBW Miami in 2010. She quickly became, became a fan favorite and was known for her never backing down from a, from a verbal spat. VH1 reportedly documented her wedding to former NFL player Chad Ochocinco. During a 2012 special that was pulled after he was arrested for a headbutting the reality star so hard that she had to get stitches. After taking a break from the show to film her own documentary series, Living Lozada, in 2015, she made her first epic return and joined BBW LA in 2017 with Shawnee Henderson formerly known as O'Neill, Tammy Roman, Jackie Christie, and Malaysia Pargo as main cast members. The reality star recently starred in Peacock's unscripted dating series, Queen's Court, which premiered in March. The show despicted Lozada as falling in love and getting engaged to her now fiance, LaVon Lewis. One comment tied the engagement to Lozada's possible return to BBW, writing, she want production to pay for the wedding. Loz Lozada has yet to confirm the report about her unconfirmed BBW return. And that's the end of the article. So, yes, Evelyn Lozada, I thought you was never coming back to basketball wise after season nine. You know, it, it seems like you must be low income or need more money because why are you returning to a show that, you know, you got into so many altercations and verbal arguments with, with um, a lot of the castmates? I mean, she didn't got into it with Royce Reed, Susie. Tammy, you know, Jackie. She got into it with Cece um, Gutierrez, Gutierrez. Now um, Cece Scott. She got into it with um, Kenya Bell. She threw a bottle at a um, wine bottle at her. And she um, walked on top of a table and jumped off the table to try to fight Jennifer. And then she um, got into it with OG, you know. But out of all the women that she didn't got into it with on basketball wise, OG was the only one who really checked her, who really put her in her place. You know, I'll get back to that in a minute. But she had a show like they mentioned in this article called Living Lozada on um own, you know, that got canceled after one season. I think that she should go back to pitch the owner to a different network about bringing back her show live in Lozada. You know, she has shown how much she has grown since going back to, or since leaving basketball wise twice, you know, how her children are doing. She could talk about her new relationship, you know, with her fiance. I mean, she can create her own story again, you know, 
show that she's grown from the past and that she's not looking back and that she's moving forward in a positive light. But nah, she wants to return to a show where she claims that she lost endorsements and, um, and, and lost deals, promotion deals, because of OG, you know, calling her colorist and stuff like that. Like the, the conflict that she had with OG. But really, they argued. They, they went in on each other online and on the show. And then Evelyn tried to check when, when um, CC and Kristen Scott was um, trying to um, have a conversation on the cash trip. CC decided, you know, she had enough of Chris, Kristen, so she walked away. Evelyn chases CC with a bamboozle stick. And so OG runs behind Evelyn and pushed her into the bushes. Like she threw, she pushed her like a rag doll, or should I say, like tossed her like a salad into the bushes. And since then, you know, Evelyn never jumped up in OG face. She never did anything to OG. So as a response. So yeah, that's why I say OG is the only woman that um stood up to Evelyn and really I mean the other ones did too, but they didn't check her like OG did. And overall, I just don't like the way that Evelyn has treated, you know, women on the show, especially OG. You know, and then she wanted to get a restraining order against OG because she was scared of her, that OG was going to hurt her. And that wasn't the case. And then OG, like, called her a colorist. And then OG um, said other things to her that Evelyn didn't like. And Evelyn was like, oh, this woman defamed my character. She cost me promotions and, you know, sponsorships and endorsements. So I'm going to sue her. So the restraining order... The restraining order got denied by a judge. And so she still has this ongoing lawsuit with OG, I believe. And like, and if that's the truth, I'm going to say, Evelyn, drop that lawsuit. You're not going to win. It's a waste of time, just like you. And so, like I said, you, you done been through so much and then went through so much on Basketball Wise. Now you want to go back to the show that you say you never go back to? You know, you're going to put a, a further dent in your um, brand. You're going to um, turn it. You could possibly tarnish your brand for good going on it back to this show. Because this show did not make you um, look... Or, you know, didn't didn't make you look good. You didn't make yourself look good. You know, if anything, you defamed yourself and your own character based on your actions. You know, you you gonna tarnish the brand that you got. Like I said, by going back to this show, you were seen more in a bad light, a negative light, than a positive one. So that's why I say I don't know if I would go back to that show if I was you. You should, like I said, try to branch off and get your own show back. You know, revamp that show that you had on own and try to start a, start a new page in your life. But you want to go back to, you know, a show that made you, that made you look bad. That's you. You know, but like I said, how do y'all feel about Evelyn coming back to basketball wise? Really, I don't care if she on there or not, to be honest. I don't care for her too much. But um, yeah, how do you all feel about her going back on the show? Y'all can um leave, drop a comment in my um com in the comments below to tell me how y'all feel about her coming back. But um, yeah, before I go, I'm gonna say. When she was on Jason Lee's um, show, Hollywood Unlocked, she said something. She was talking about OG, of course, but she also made a statement that I thought was laughable. This heifer got up there and said that she Afro-Latina. Girl, you know damn well that you don't have no black in you to save your life. You are 100% Hispanic. Latina. Your parents, we saw your parents on Basketball Wise. Evelyn, they are not black. They're 100% Hispanic. 
So we all knew you was lying when you said that. You know, so if, if any way, if you have any black in you or if your family have any black in you, well, especially if you or your parents have any black in, in y'all, then show us some receipts. Show us some proof that you that you black or that you have any type of black in you. Show us some receipts. Show us some proof because we're not buying that story. We're not believing that. And then Jason Lee, or should I say Jason P, is what I call him. You know, Hollywood, his show Hollywood should be on the, should be shelved, should be on the shelf, or should be locked on the shelf, taken off the shelf, and, the, and, the, and taken off the shelf and recycled in the trash. Because that show is trash, just like Jason. But anyway, he going to make an ignorant comment and going to say, oh, she got black kids. You you right. I agree with you being Afro-Latina because you got black kids. Just because Evelyn has biracial children or both of her children are by black men, that does not make her black, dummy. That does not make her black. You can, her, her children are biracial. They're half black. If anything, they're not black. 100%. They're, they're half. They're biracial. And just based off that alone, that does not make her black. So you can, so he could keep his ignorant mouth shut because that was a stupid statement he made. You know, for the record, just because somebody have, like I said, black kids or biracial kids that don't make them black. In order for them to be black, their kids have to be 100% black. And they have to be 100% black. But Evelyn is not black. She ain't nowhere near it. So like I said, that, what he said, is tossed to the wayside. is out the window. It don't matter in this case. But yeah, like I said, I hope you all like, comment, subscribe, share this video if you like. Like I said, I don't care if Evelyn comes back or not, or if, if Evelyn is on or not. I want to see how she act, what how she going to get along with the other ladies, you know, because her and Jackie, like I said before, also got into it on the show. So, but yeah, I want to see how she going to behave. It'll be interesting to see, but good luck to you, girl. And then as far as a wedding goes, I don't know if VH1 going to pay you to pay you to do your wedding with this man that you got. But it's a good thing that you switched up and got um a regular man, as you know, a, a everyday working man, because them athletes was not right. Them athletes was not for you, baby. You know, they went through you like toilet paper. You know, you didn't went from the NBA to the NFL to the to the um the major league baseball to get men. So you didn't have three different men from three different sports. So like I said, baby, you know, that didn't work out for you. So like I said, I hope this relationship with this man work out and that this show basketball wise don't mess up the relationship that you have with him. But um anyway, I hope you like I said before, I hope you all like, comment, subscribe, share this video. Please like because it helps my channel. But anyway, like, comment, subscribe, and I will share a link to this article in the description box below. So if you all want to watch, then click on it, and then it'll take you right to the website and to the article. But anyway, you all have a good day. Peace.